welcome back to my channel. So I just thought I would come on here real quick and share with you guys a Dollar Tree haul that I did. I found some new goodies that I have seen going around on YouTube that people have been finding and I found a few of them so I thought I would just come on here and share with you guys. Um, I hope that you guys are having a great day. It's not a lot so I'm just going to go through it fairly quickly and share with you what we got. So the first thing I found, I have seen people finding these, is this cereal here. It's the Funfetti cereal. I have seen this before at Walmart, and this is a 17 ounce box. I did pick up two of these, um, because whenever I find cereals like this, I think they're such a great deal. And when my kids feel like having cereal, they can definitely eat this. That, I picked up two of those. I did find these Kellogg's Nutri-Grain Soft Baked Breakfast Bars in Strawberry. I thought this was a great find. Uh, there is eight to a pack. My son loves these. Um, he loves to snack on these when he feels like having a snack or something. Um, and so again, they come with eight full-size bars. So I picked up two of these. Um, as well whenever I know that Dollar Tree has their own brand of these but whenever I find this brand I will pick them up um, because it is a great find they're like almost three dollars at Walmart and like I always do I will put the price on the screen if I could find them at their regular retail price okay the next thing I found I did pick up two of these these are I saw these going around these are the Hanes face masks they uh, are white and it says one size fits most. Comes with 10 to a pack. Um, it says that they are soft, three ply, 100% cotton, breathable, washable, and reusable. So that's uh, great. I didn't know that, that, um, that they did that. I did just grab them because I saw them, but they come 10 to a pack. I did pick up two packs. I should have picked up more, but I did not. And so there are those right there. I did see these going around on uh, hauls for Dollar Tree, and I thought, you know what, these are a great find. Um, so I have been wearing masks, and um, I feel like we're still in the stage of having to wear them, especially because me and my family are not vaccinated and have no intentions at the moment of getting vaccinated. Um, so therefore I thought why not pick these up it's always great to have backups and I'm gonna pull one out just so we see what they look like oh so they're actual like cotton hmm, interesting so they're actually like just straight cotton masks now it is pretty thick I can't see through it which is good I know that they have talked about cotton masks and if you can pull it and see through it then they're not good coverage but this would definitely be great to even go over like the medical looking ones, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to try it on and see how it fits. Now these are white, so obviously if you wear makeup or anything like that, you're probably going to have a hot mess of these. It is pretty snug. Um, they do feel breathable, but it's great that they're um, re washable and reusable, so that's nice. Um, the only thing that I would say is... Obviously, um, after they start to get kind of colored and dingy, you probably don't want them anymore. But definitely, that is a great find. I didn't know they're going to be like this. I thought they're going to be like the uh, more medical looking ones that are one time uses. So that's great. So we have 20 there. And again, they are washable. We can bleach them, get all the, the um, not good things out of them. So that's awesome. I may go back and pick up some more because that was a great find. Okay, I have seen this going around as well on YouTube. These are the blender travel cases. Um, I did only see these two ones. This is a pineapple and an apple. I think there's a strawberry out there. I didn't see that one at all. We shall see how they do. Again, I didn't see the strawberry, so I just got these two. I did find these socks. I did get these. These are the Snugadoo adult socks. 
um, and these are in the size 5 to 9. These are those real like soft socks that are just real cozy um, and they have the slipper uh, things on the back where you know the grippers excuse me to help you not fall. So I picked up this pair here. These are gifts um, and then I picked up uh, this one here. I thought they were really cute and these are really great. Um, it's starting to cool down and these are really great because it has the non-slip action which is awesome and then i picked up some more socks these again are gifts um i just love that that dollar tree has such awesome um socks and things like that there so i picked them up these are the beverly hills polo club socks these come with two pairs and they look like that this one has the little hedgehogs really really cute and then we have this side which is just lines and um, with colorful lines and prints. This came with two pairs, which is still a great buy. 50 cents a pair is not bad. And then um, I showed you guys these that I got my daughter, but I also picked up um, another pair for a gift. These are the little sloth ones right there. And then the gray and white. Two, two to a pack. Cannot beat it. Definitely a great find. And then these are the Juncture Women's Athletic Socks. I had shared these with you guys in white before, but these are in gray and black. They come three to a pack. Definitely cannot beat this. They're uh, less than 50 cents a pair. This one is gray on gray. And they're really nice quality. They don't feel cheap or, or anything like that. I have some myself. I've washed them. They do really well. This is gray on burgundy and then the gray on peach right there. And these are, they feel really nice. They do not feel cheap, like I said. And then just the black pairs. And they just have, you know, the heels that, and the toes that are different colors. But really nice quality. Great find, in my opinion. I love these socks. I don't even buy socks at regular stores anymore. Um, because I love these. And they're just great. If you love um, the ankle socks, then you would absolutely love them. Cannot beat that at all. So they're gifts. And then I got this for a gift. It's super cute. I wanted one for myself, but I have too many notepads. But it has like the little drinks on there, coffees. I did get this for a, a gift just for a little notepad. And I love to gift these. I figure they're nice for doodling, writing notes down, maybe reminders, whatever, you know. So there's that. And then some other good things that I saw going around on YouTube that people were finding. Um, first thing is the e.l.f. Dream On Lip Gloss, and um, I think the color is a moment. So I did find these. I found the blue, um, the other gloss like this that's a more like a soft blue color. I can't remember what the color was. I did not pick up any of those because I didn't know how the coloring would be um, for, you know, gifting and giveaways. And I don't know how people would feel about a blue gloss, even though it was really soft. Um, it might have just been sheer, but I picked up this because it looked more neutral, more like something some that people would wear. But it's right there. Um, you probably remember this collection that came out some time ago, the Retro Paradise collection. And I think these were about six to eight bucks, but I did get them for a dollar. I did only pick up two because I have a lot of products still that I could use for gifting for future giveaways. I just have way too much and so I didn't want to be excessive and overdo it um, because like I said I have a lot that I can give away but I did pick up two just to have um, because they are a great find at the Dollar Tree. I did find the Flower Beauty Stick Foundation and um, they only had one shade. And this is in the shade SF5, whatever that is. Um, and I think they're going to be too dark for myself. So I'll probably gift these um, or put them in a giveaway. I don't like to do foundation a whole lot in giveaways because I don't know the person's shade tone and all of that. And when you pick up a person, you really don't have time to figure that out. So... Um, I'll probably save these for gifts. I have a couple people in mind. I think that they would match. And they are saying that they're the same shade. But when I look at them through the packaging, one does look a little darker than the other. But I picked them up even though they weren't my shade. I picked them up because I thought for a dollar you cannot beat it. Um, again, they only had the one shade. And I just thought 
you know, Flower Beauty is coming back and coming around again to the stores, uh, to the Dollar Trees. And I thought if I, if I didn't pick that up, then I'd be missing out, even if I was going to gift them to somebody. But I have a couple people in mind that I think could use those and was really excited I saw those. And then the last couple of things, I saw this going around on YouTube as well. This is the Ahava Dead Sea Salt, Natural Dead Sea Bath Salts. And this is an 11 ounce bag right there. This is a great product. When I worked at Ulta, we sell these, well, they sell these there. I don't sell them anymore because I don't work there. But these are such a really good product. And the fact that you can get them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, you cannot pass it up. So it says here, whenever your body's in need of revitalizing charge, look no further than a Hava Dead Sea bath salts, rich in skin-friendly minerals, including magnesium, calcium, sodium, potassium, and more. They will soothe your body with genuine relaxation to a general relief, softening your skin. Um, it says here, if you suffer from high blood pressure, consult your physician um, and do not use under three. So I picked up two of these because I love using bath salts when I'm taking a bath to relax and you cannot pass that up. I probably should have gotten more so that I can gift some of them because I think that they would make great gifts in my own personal opinion. And then I think that's pretty much everything. And then the last thing I picked up were these Harboro Rainbow Worms. Um, it says they have black currant, lemon, and strawberry. I just thought these looked good. So yeah, that is everything that I picked up in this recent Dollar Tree haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to come on here real quick and share that with you um, because I found some of the things that are going around on Instagram and YouTube that people are finding and I wanted to share that. I found those at my local store um, here my local Dollar Tree stores, excuse me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy Dollar Tree hauls, definitely would love for you to subscribe and stick around. Um, but that is everything, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is going to complete this video for today, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.